This is an example on how to calculate the mass and volume fractions of a given eutectic system. So we're going to go through this together so that you can understand better the, the, the questions. All right. So as you can see here, this is a <coughs> system of um, lead and tin alloy, right? So the question said for lead tin alloy in example problem in a previous example, which is here given um, CO of 48% of tin and 68% of lead at 150 degrees C, calculate, so this one, the example problem 9.2 is actually referring to this. Okay, uh, CO. Calculate the relative rel relative amount of each phase present in terms of A, mass fraction, and B, volume fraction. So the mass fraction, we just used the level rule. Okay. Um, Alright, so also given here at 150 degrees C, the densities of both lead and tin is 11.23 and 7.24 gram per cm cube. Okay, first and foremost, what you have to do is identify this point, 48% of tin. So here, we're reading from left to right, so this is 14, so we look at this 48%. 40 is here, all right, and at 150 degrees Celsius. So this one is 40, and this is around 160, uh, sorry, 150 degrees Celsius. So the point shall be at B point here. And all you have to do is draw a tie line this blue line is a tie line, okay, to work out what is the uh, C alpha and C beta, okay, and this is your C1, or I usually call it C0, you can also call it C1. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to identify what is C alpha. So C alpha here is the composite composition of the... Um, of this alpha phase, okay, um, which is around 10%, no, 11, 11%, and this one is C beta, C beta is for the composition of the beta phase, which is around, this is 90, so here this point is 98, 98%. Right, so now you have your C1, in this case we call it C1 lah, C1 as 40, C alpha is 11, C beta is 98. Okay, so this is the level rule um, formula to calculate the fraction of the alpha phase. So the fraction of the alpha is just C beta minus C1 divided by C beta minus C alpha. And you substitute all the values here into this equation and you get 0 0.67 for the alpha phase. This is fraction, right? Fraction. And for the beta phase, using the same formula, you will get 0 0.33. Alright, moving on. So this is actually the answer for uh, part A. For part A. And now we're going to look on how are we going to solve for the part B, which is the volume fraction. Okay, so this is the part B. To compute volume fraction, it is necessary to determine the density of each phase. So we need to calculate the density of each phase. Why? Why do we need this? Okay, if you look at um, this formula, okay, the formula that I showed you in my previous, previous slides. Okay, this formula here. You need to calculate, this is um, 
the formula that you will be using this is the one v the fraction of uh, volume fraction the fraction in terms of volume for alpha and beta so in this formula you need to calculate you need to know what is the mass fraction and you need to know the density of each phase which is rho alpha and rho beta but how are you going to calculate rho alpha and rho beta is by using the formula that you have learned in the previous chapter this formula here rho average for an alloy which composed of two component okay component one and component two and this formula you learn in um, the previous chapter imperfections of solids or defects imperfections in solids or defects all right okay so using this equation so you can calculate your rho alpha which is 100 divided by uh, CSN C uh, tin which is alpha divided by the density of tin plus composition of lead or alpha um, divided by uh, rho of the lead all right so this one denote the concentrations in weight percent of tin and lead respectively in the alpha phase so that's why you can see here alpha and alpha. So this is for alpha phase only. Please do not put any composition in beta. Alright. So just substitute all these values which is the 11 and 89 with percent. So the density um, of the alpha phase is 100 um, over these values and these values. You just substitute your C for your SN in alpha phase, which is 11 just now. Um, this one, all right? This one, 11 with percent. Okay? And another one is the lead, the density and uh, the composition of lead in alpha phase. And how do you get the 89 with percent? Is here, actually. So you have this C alpha composition, all right? C alpha, and you need to ident you need to work out what is the composition in terms of with percent of tin and with percent of lead. So of tin, it's eleven percent. How about lead? Lead is just hundred minus eleven. So you'll get 89 with percent of PB. This point, at this point, this is 11 with percent of tin and 89 with percent of lead. Why 89? Because here, lead here at this point is 100 percent of lead. Still remember? Okay, so now we have worked out those 11 and 89. Just substitute into this formula, you get 10.59 gram over cm cube. Similarly, solving for the beta phase, you need to find the density of beta phase. Okay? So you use the same formula, this formula, and you need to work out what is the composition of beta phase for both component at this point here this point so for tin it's 98 percent how about the lead lead is definitely because here lead is zero percent lead so at this point it's just 100 minus 98 you will get two percent two percent here so you just substitute the values and you get 7.29 gram per cm cube next now, it becomes necessary to employ the equations that we've seen before, this and this. This is the equation that I showed you just now, to calculate the volume fraction of the phase, of each phase. 
right? So the volume fraction for the alpha phase um, is just a matter of substituting all this information. You know your alpha phase fraction, mass fraction, and you know your density. You know all these values, so you get 0 0.58. And for volume fraction of the beta phase, just substitute all the values that you have figured out just now. And you get 0 0.42. 0.42 okay and since this is fraction you can see that this value is just 1 minus 0 0.58 so you will get 0 0.42 remember that these are fraction so it has to be less than 1.0 for each of the the uh, component 